Uh, really? Steam? I haven't played the game in four months and you do me a dirty like this? Ha <laughs> ha! Spam clicking worked. There we go. Okay, so we've fixed that problem. Hi guys, welcome back to Danganronpa 2. I haven't played this game in nearly two months. Wait, no. It's longer than that. Oh, crap. As you can tell, I've kind of messed up my files a little bit. We press search. Crap. Oh my god. So I basically went back and replayed the game, and I can't remember which one was the original save file. Why do I never prepare for this? Chapter 2 ends. It's got to be that one, right? No one's here, right? Aha! Here we go, right from where we left off. <laughs> oh, I forgot about you. Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprised look on their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> I forgot what you sound like. The ding dong bing bong back. Woo! Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Is it night time? Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Tropical. Right, so you have to apologize for me, guys. I've had four coffees this morning. I'm extremely hyper. And I actually have a decent time to record because I finished work early today. So we're going to get well, straight then, into this. Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. We always do. Shh. I do apologize for Ava in the background. She's been very... uh loud today morning huh in the end i was so worried about fuhiko that i couldn't sleep oh my god yeah because peko slashed his eye involving himself in peko's execution like that suffering all those wounds is he really going to live and was it really okay to leave him in monokuma's care that's a good question worry has consumed my heart my body feels terribly burdened, but that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay, lay here and do nothing. Stiff, loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right, just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question one of you afterward. I'm definitely going to find out if you here goes safe or not. Right, okay, so I just wanted to give a bit of explanation while we're heading to the restaurant. So the reason it took me so long to like get back to this game was because for me to feel like I've done a decent enough left of an episode, it usually takes me about an hour and a half to do a decent sized recording and trying to find the time to sit down for a full cool hour and a half recording without being interrupted by family and stuff gets very difficult sometimes. No. We're going to get covered up again in a minute. Oh, there's Hyoko. Oh. What? Hajime, you're already here? Yoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? Huh. Uh, I'm not acting anxious. I, I just happen to be awake by coincidence. So I can't, I just came here early. Uh, I see. This girl, there's something strange. She's trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again. Well, they're squishing Mr. Ant. Oh my god. What the heck is that? Wh what the heck is this? panel has been propped up. It's given off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiro take these photos? But what's with this terrifying ambiance? So that's what she was doing. Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. Um, I didn't know who put it, who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> Mahiro's going to be happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them. Right? She totally did it. Hey, Hyoko, did you... Uh, hello? <gasps> Me, Ganpai! Ah, uh, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh? Ah! What are these? Look at these horrifying photos. 
I expected that reaction. I forgot you make that sound effect. Yo, what happened? You? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what's with all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad. Please take a look at this. Those photos. Huh? Huh? Photos? Whoa! What the heck? Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Hey, I come from witches. We don't use that stuff. Mm. This is clearly an insult against my hero. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. <laughs> this is too much to actually treat my hero's photos like this. Uh, <laughs> she knows. Ah, uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! I'll leave that to her. Yeah! What are those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy, huge, ominous aura. Something like this. There's no excuse. This is te too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey! I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it? Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right. There's no way Mahiru will be happy with this. <laughs> she won't be just unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Okay, that's a bit dramatic. Man, who the hell did this? I have to get comfy. No! No, we'll have to switch with the criminal later. In the meantime. <laughs> Fire! Start a fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so my hero can reach Nirvana. S seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for my hero. You can't burn it. <gasps> huh? Mourn my hero? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting my hero. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a close look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps... Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahira is not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think... Yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. I really like Chiaki. She's back. She's back up waifu if anything happens to Mikan. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. Oh, just wanted to clear Ooh. something by the way, because I have had like comments about this, not like on my YouTube channel, but like other people who's watched it. I always pick a husbando and a waifu. I go both ways, okay? And anyway, it just opens up more options because this is done on Rumpo. Like they say, don't get attached to the characters, but I've got too much love to give out. So you've got to have one of the both. And also, you, Missy, need to shushed. <laughs> it's because I got my head fed on, she doesn't like it. You sure are simple minded? Okay, yeah, she's crying. I really don't want to burn it. Huh? Huh? It cannot be. Uh, um, was the person who made this? <laughs> It was her. Oh, hold on. Sorry, is my web camera getting in the way? Give me a minute. Let me just change that a second because that's I just realized that. Sorry about that. I just realized my webcam was getting in the way of the text because this is that's usually where I put my webcam when I'm streaming uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, link in description. So I've just moved that for you. So there is going to be a, a weird cut in the video. It's because I had to tab out to um, change it. But sorry about that, guys. That should be clear now. Mahiru was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. Mahiru's probably lonely by herself. But I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Well, technically you got Biakria. Rest in peace. And Terry Terra up there with her. And now I'm Paco too, so... <laughs> Yoko, you... Uh, I don't want to make it look better, but um, unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. 
I, I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hyoko. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Thanks, Mika. Well... Uh, how should I put this? It, it looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off the island. No. No, it should come with us when we get off this island too. It'd be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not going to burn it? Impossible! Of course not, we would never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? Yes. I got it! Fine, then I'll give you all ex- Bleh, I can't talk. Fine, then I'll forgive all of you. Except me, can of course. Oh, why? Oh, why? Why are you so strict with me? I see. I Man, see. It's so unexpected. Yeah. I really can't imagine Hyoka being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hyoka has a very kind heart. Okay, can it. we? Okay, okay, can we move past this now? I want to know what's going on with you, Hyoka. And you? Kind? Oh, come on! It's not like that. Jeez! Please stop it already! <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Seriously, stop it! Don't tease me! Ah, <laughs> oh, he gets so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! I'm not saying that. Why only me? Why only me? Uh, at any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm? Really? It feels like we've made such a huge question about it and uh, finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair because our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are really splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Ah, it's my husband, though! No. I swear, if he dies, I am going to be so livid. I have arrived. Apologies for the wet. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible! Mm, a mallet clings to Margaret even after her death. It will be sucked in if you look directly at it. You're the worst! Wow. Hey, Nagito! Wow, this is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with mallet. Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you! Please destroy me all you want. Stand stand aside. I shall shatter this barbaric, blushless, false idol to pieces. Uh. <laughs> now that those two are here, do you think we're still... Uh, that's not Chiaki. Now that those two are here, do you think we're still splendid? Mm, looks like it's going to take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realise just how short-lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing like a huge fa fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a um, truly horrible, atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realised it yet. I'm curious of who's like who's gonna be the next person to die. But I'm not trying to sound nasty, but I feel like I always felt like Mahiro wasn't gonna be like a survivor. <laughs> I feel like Akane's kind of too dumb to die. Like I know that sounds really, really stupid, but you know, there, there's a lot of character development with her, so I feel like she's not gonna die. Hey. Kazuichi, I hope he dies. He, at, honestly, I was like watching back on some of the some of the series um, because obviously I had to refresh myself before I coming back to this, which is why I was like playing back through Dragon Rumble One, etc. And honestly, he is extremely annoying. He's a huge Sonya sim, and I don't know. I just really don't like his character. But. When it comes to, like, for example, uh, Gundam, Chiaki, like, they're all characters that I think I'm definitely going to remember, like, going forward. Like, when people say, oh, who was your favourite Danganronpa 2 character? I think Mikan, Chiaki, Nagito, and Gundam are going to have to be, like, the top four. Can you shushed? This doesn't help when you're trying to record and you have a bird shouting at you 24-7. 
Anyway, I'm going to shut up, but we'll, I'll tell you what, I'll talk about my thoughts after the video. So what I'll do is I'll um, let you know when I'm going to have the, have the talk, but let's carry on anyway. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yeah. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Um, is he really all right? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if only I could have tended to his wound somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. <sighs> well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. You. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? All right. Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So. I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll crush in Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. Avenge? He's not dead. Jeez. What, re what vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi, Monami. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun is over now, thanks to you. <laughs> Huh? Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't tease me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um... Ah, you finally asked me. Hey! Well, once again, I've defeated another one of these. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you've defeated a mono beast, that means... Ding, 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 ding. That's right! You are now able to visit yet another island! <laughs> so it's always happy ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about naming this island. Love, love. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends! A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. <laughs> huh? Are you guys still thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? You have a minute. More importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Oh, bloody out. Sorry, I'm just making sure my phone's on silent. <laughs> more, more importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Huh? huh? Fuyuhiko? Um, um, you see, I don't really know. Won't be fooled. Miss Sonia, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also a part of that mysterious world ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? So you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey! Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but what are you planning? <gasps> it's a great opportunity. It's time you bloody your dogs in. <laughs> uh oh, a dilemma. That's the one thing I can't bye say. Bye. Truly, this is the tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec. She ran away again. She always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well. Oh well, who cares about one of me? More importantly. <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. But we must move forward no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? She's right. Let's, let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm. Mm. You are right. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Sonia. Of course you do. Alright! Then it's decided. Oh, hold on. Mum just sent me a text of you, Ian. Yes. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new home. Wait! Wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the monobies and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me! If that strange looking rabbit that can defeat one, it should be easier for us too. Hold on! Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> Anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we were—I feel like we're go doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring a new island, we left the restaurant. Right. Okay. 
So we got a new island to explore. What's this? Our second one? I think. I can't remember. Right. Okay, actually, while we're do while we're on the topic, how's the pet doing? Oh, it's a spare. It's got the spare. It's got the spare. Oh no! Let's get that fixed. <laughs> Why do I have to have the snake one though? Eat. Just so we can get the spare meter down a little bit before we continue. There we go. Right, okay. So we need to explore the new island. So I believe we need to go to the central island with the park and then go from there. There we go, Central Island. So whichever one's got a morning beast next to it, we know we can't go to. But yeah, I am, I am sorry it's taken me so long to get back to this game. Like, it's just been very difficult because I've now got a job where I'm working from home and I'm only working 25 hours a week at the moment. I'm just in the training period. So hopefully this mean, does mean I'll have more time to like work on videos and stuff. But it does seriously depend on what team they decide to put me in and all this other malarkey. But let's see. Because I didn't really, I didn't want to go and start releasing episodes again if I wasn't going to be able to keep up with it. Ah, Third Island, okay. What I mean was right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross this bridge, we should reach a new island. With a new feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness that I had felt. I crossed the bridge that led to, um, to the new island. Right, so just finishing what I was just previously saying. Um, so hopefully, uh, what I'll probably do is I'll, I do talk about it on Twitch sometimes. So um, again, go follow me on Twitch as well because I am kind of leaning at, to streaming more at the moment because it's easier for me to slip in with my time schedule. Um, but I will be getting more stuff up. But I basically got very worried about uploading this, um, about recording this again because I was worried... Like, it's been so long since I look, updated the previous episode and obviously now I've come back to it and I don't want to want to get to the point where I can't get it uploaded again. Um, but I am going to do my best to like kind of keep up because I really want to get into Danganronpa V3. But what I might do is I might not up start uploading it until I've gotten a couple of episodes recorded. That way, um, if I can't, you know, play it for a while... Um, I still have episodes to upload, but let me know in the comments um, what you guys uh, do want to see. Because basically, I want to try and get a couple series completed before we look into doing any new series. So I was plan planning on fishing Danganronpa 2 and Underpants, which is on the list, because uh, I haven't done... I just realised I haven't done the genocide um, ending yet, because I was looking through my channel this morning before I had to go to a Zoom meeting. So I'm going to get the genocide one done. That'll be one series ticked off. And then I'm planning on starting Underverse then. I know a couple of you in the comments have asked about it. And I'm not going to lie. I have kind of put it off a little bit. Because um, I didn't want to have too many series going at one go. But fingers crossed we can get catch up soon. But let's see. Oh my god. So this is the third island. The ambience is completely different compared to the previous islands. Yeah, tell me about it. Wait, is that thing called Tiddy Typhoon? Oh my god, that's amazing. The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. If it feels a little dangerous somehow, it might be better to proceed cautiously. I like how they do like the little um a hospital. Oh no. We don't we don't have another pandemic here now, do we? looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient. How's it going? Oh, hi, Mikan. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack and getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is almost so strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I fall here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? But, uh, I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. 
I'm not sure that'll be on, that'll be useful unless we check them. Uh, I mean, do I need to go check them, right? Uh, understood. I'll go ahead and do that in the flash, so please don't hate me. Mika ran frantically ran to the upper end of the dark hole and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Hi, Gundam. What have you got to say, buddy? <laughs> of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? Oh. I have said too much. Forget what she heard for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information. Are you already telling me to forget it? He's got something going on. I want to find out more about Gundam. There's a piece of paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's a hospital notice. But there's no one in the silent, so who's this note is written for? Well, read it! God's sake. Outside. Okay, right. So we have a hospital. So that's going to be like Mikan's new home, basically. This is so weird. Right. Music venue. Come on, how did the game get away with calling it Titty Typhoon? That is amazing. This building. If it's cool the and tasteless neon lights, this obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Well, it's gonna be a music venue. What's gonna be in there? Another mono beast? Of course, if it's gonna be happy about this. What the? What, why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> the truth is so overwhelming that I can't help but shouting out. That's totally it. Cause this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I love music. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I would never expect. Oh my gosh, huh? I just repeated it. Huh? Can I just say that twice? Huh? Oh my god. Ibuki, you're mental. Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problem. That's a tool. I'm totally no fine. Problemo. Okay, she's doing it deliberately. Crap. Huh? Can I just do it twice again? Crap. Oh my god. You don't look very okay. May I end up a venue like this? Ibuki has no choice but to lean, lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time I don't. Oh well, if you've already taken a like into this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me. Like, let me bite ya. I'm sorry, I should hurry up and go check out the other place. So yeah, what have you got to say? Oh, what have you got to say? Amazing! What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Disco? It's where hip youngsters wear fever fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and landas. I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. Well, she is a princess. She's not, you know, she's not, she's not from here. I feel like if a murder is going to go anywhere, it would be the hospital. Am I the only one who thinks that? Right, what else have we got to... Oh! There's a motel here? Yeah, there. This is, this is sus as heck. Why would there be a motel if we've already got the hotel? It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. Ah, sorry. But this is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> oh, wow, what a run-down motel. It looks pretty unsanitary too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But, but we got to make sure we check it out for early. It's possible there might actually be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey! You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So... But Connie was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little play, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare. So we got to make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I really can't take it personally. 
It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in the crime movie. If it's just to stay in the night, the cottage is good enough. Okay, there's not really anything else to look at here. Okay, there's not really a lot of stuff to investigate, which is actually making me very suspicious about this. Oh, Electric Avenue. Ava, I'm trying to play Danganronpa, baby. She's bobbing her head at me. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are clustered together on a display. This definitely seems fishy. But wait, this many machines, we could probably sign something we can use for a two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. The television corner, a lot of uh, CRT TVs lined up. They all look really old. It's not looks like they were not designed for digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. Looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. <laughs> I like, oh, there's a monocular there. There we go. Huh? I've been found. Hey, more monocoins. Okay. What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what I, what they're used for. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. Hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there. It's all machines used for. Stuff like wiretapping wire or recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Uh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and tatwired by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what did he see when he's watching Miss Sonia? Oh, for God's sake. Can I have one conversation with you about you mentioning Sonia? He says he's never used these before, but if I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. That is true. Alright. Uh, okay, so we've got quite a couple. Laptop. Here we go. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know, if we connect to the internet we might be able to get us to we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that I grabbed the random laptop, pulled it out of the pile and turned it on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use, looks like it's not connecting. Well there's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up. My eyes my eyes notice the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami file... Usami X file? What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. Oh, here we go. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Speak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first the dis dispute was confined to the campus and the hopes were high that it would settle down one day, but things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the, wor of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup de grace. It, it seems to have much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this um, subversive moment. Nevertheless, nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized, it's both purposeful and... Oh my god, there's too many big words. Therefore, it is a subversive moment full of despair. The host of Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As far as the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no in use. The words are too proud to read beyond this point. But what is this? Boy, tough crowd. Oh, for us, hello, Monokuma. Hmm, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now hey, I'm can't you react to the morning stuff, though? Do you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my. What makes you say that? Well, because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. 
The biggest news of all form is tried to prevent a human history, riots in various parts of the world, and hope that the economy getting destroyed. It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And, and, this one thinks the Academy Reserve Department. I've never even heard of that before. What? Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What, what do you mean? I, I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that fellow said something about students who survived. Is that, is it referring to us? than the rest of the fathers. Hey, hey, hey! But hold on a sec, you guys. Hey, hey. Just what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. Those are things that truly don't make any sense. What are you so saying? So you can't say something as simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the shoots who survive? No. I wouldn't know an, an important story like that. Because it's the only thing I'm good for is being cute! Damn it, he ran away again! Uh, hey, Hajime. D don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it, that's definitely it. That's gonna be that's gonna be huge. There's a parts corner. There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these are cold, but do they still even work? Right, what have you got to say, Chiaki? Somehow it feels like she's fishing things out of the pile of electric appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there were any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you were doing. Mm -hmm. I already have a TV in my college, so it doesn't have to be a normal portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do if you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your yep. cottage. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. The cell phone corner, okay. Ava, no. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get a reception, even with all this variety. They may, they may as well be paperweights. I think we're done here. Yeah. Okay. It does seem. It's very weird, like, this side is completely different from the others. There's a movie theatre as well. Well, Gunman and the Puma, the Wizard of Monomy. Oh my god. Welcome! Oh, Jesus, hello. Can I just say, who's that girl in the corner? Stepping on Monokuma. Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? What are you Are your eyes just for show? Look all around. This is a movie theatre, right? Of course. But I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just going to say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not going to watch a movie. Whatever it is, I'm not going to... I'm never going to see it. <laughs> My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. <laughs> but I wouldn't allow you to not watch it. I went through a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than the, than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is da definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma. On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you going to do about it? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behaviour. There's no way I'd allow it. But what are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you put some Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? Savings here. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. Can I please have that pin in real life? There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one, it looks like a tote bag made of hem cloth with a deep colour of Molly's face on it. It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were definitely invented to carry around mm -hmm. ice. So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'd just be up front with you, but I've cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. Is this sticker the one you were talking about? I'm sorry I was born stupid. It's not funny and I don't understand its purpose. How ass-ass is this? That's amazing, Hajime. Shut up. 
Actually, to tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle working priest. And it could be yours with a special prize of only $1.5 million. $1.5 million? Don't mess with me, I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off the island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. I don't Whoa, I'm surprised. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything, even $1.5 million. Yeah, the first person to ever pay $1.5 million is a sticker. Never would you really don't want to watch my movie, and that makes me sad, Monokuma. But if I'm going to give me profit, it's okay. I'm a math girl who has a hobby of counting money, after all. It's the worst math spot ever. Come on, take a thief and slap it on your forehead, thief. Save this man to this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a bride from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am my little crazy. Whoa there, it looks like the show is over. Alrighty, I've got to collect those questionnaires. At that moment, Ron came and started coming and skipped away towards the door leading into the theatre. Slap. There's the door opened violently with one person appeared from within. Oh, of course Nagato went to watch it. Ah, Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like little weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. But, um, yes. well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess it's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I would have just settled it with money. Nagito is so depressed. That movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. But you said it wasn't a motive. Right, I, first of all, I quickly I saw more humor there. I knew you could do it. More mono coins. Shush. Poster. It's a video game poster. Hmm. Looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Monokuma. Hmm. Uh, um. Hey, well, hey. Hajime, after Nagato Global Review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. Why are you bullying? <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I would have just settled it with money. Uh, let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch that movie, that's obvious. I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer, the movie must have been that bad, huh? Right, okay, we're we done here. Yes. This is weird. Everything seems too Please chill. wait. Oh, Sonia. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. Sonia, did something happen? Well? Just now I went to the hospital and it appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? See? It's the same as if I turn around, he's there, but I also remember that person in the wind. W what are you talking about? Jeez, I was so unrefined. It's, J it's Japan's legendary medical drama. That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It's about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interests. Actually, the lead actor and I just got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Right, so we don't even get the option. Oh, hi, Hello there. You're late, Hajime. It looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Yep. There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered up the room in the very back. You're not going with that? <laughs> Miss Sonia, I was expected from the old footprint sass. She accordingly asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. Nevertheless, I know my place and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. This is going to be such a touching scene. A worthless thing like me would be just a nuisance, right? A touching scene? I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous? Of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to Great. everyone. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? 
Are you being sarcastic? Well, no, no, not at all. Still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not my. It's not. Not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm stop. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. And after all that, what did he really want me to want me to say? Right. So we need to go and find this touching scene. Oh my. Oh my God. What is happening here? Patient's room? Everyone should be gathered at the patient's room at the very, ah, very back. What the heck? Okay, well that's a dead one if you were there. Oh, it was a hidden one! Huh? Are you serious? You cheeky son of a gun. Right. Up the stairs? Apparently I'm the last one. Oh, for God's sake. We went past the room. Okay, right. So it should be this one, right? I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're already here, but what are they doing here? I had a bad fee I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help but raising my voice. <gasps> what? You all look like you've seen a ghost. It's a Hiko, are you alright? I'm gonna put this on auto while they're talking. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Mm -hmm. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Oh, I'm so glad he's okay. Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds, but they were all relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Aww. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, it's pretty miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ballsy one. What's, what's, is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well, maybe... Heko gave her life to protect Fu. Are you serious? She protected him? While she was getting attacked by that horde of ma marinettes? But still. But if she really wanted to protect Fu at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. Aww. You? You think so too, right Fu Hiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? Oh. After forcing out those words, Fihiko turned in his bed away from us and then stopped talking. Um. Okay, we are back. So we're going to continue right where we left off. And we're back here. Um, I think Fihiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he ex overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry, I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that for you, Hiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me! I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously Seriously, wrong! Seriously, he's not dead. Oh. Uh, um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so badly. I'm in front of the injured. Hold on! Kane, for you, Hiko has finally come back to us. She better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone else any longer. No! I know that, I just have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then, uh, then do whatever you want. H hey, Nikamaru. Sheesh. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However. I'm not, I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? Excuse me? It? <laughs> Please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey! Uh, hey, wait a sec, Nikamaru. 
it, it was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. Or Nakamura Nakane fucking. Is this just what's happening here? But my body still hasn't forgotten and now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? Look, look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey you're kidding me. Is it what I think it is? Huh? You're not going to hear my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. After he spat those words, Nekomaru left the cage. Wait! Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, oh my god. Well, the voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekomaru kind of rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my! I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> yeah, it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Yoko? Huh. It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one that got Mahiru killed by Pato. And Hyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There is no way she's just gonna get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! Suspicious. It's definitely suspicious. Uh, All we've got to do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Aww, look at Fihiko there. He's, complete, he's being completely silent and staring out the window. It's best if I don't make the injured talk and need, needlessly. Just leave them alone. Right. I should ask the others about what they found on the new island. And right. Sonia, what have you got to say? <laughs> I'm so glad that for you, Hiko, his life was saved. Perhaps, like Chiaki said, it must be due to Paco. Yeah, that's probably it. I am concerned. But I'm getting a little tired. It must be from all the relief. We should leave this investigation of the new island for tomorrow and retire for the evening. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. I'll leave this matter entirely in your hands. It doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, Sonia forcefully reminds me she's a princess. What should we, so what should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Um, um please leave Fihiko to me. I will make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best! I'll do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my cottage much easier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. Oh, Mama the theatre, here we go. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what human superhumans, superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They will sort them and say stuff like, No, I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? But these are people who will run away once the other guys start fighting back, you know? So they're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting for someone who's alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winners, they don't know what it's like to have a weak limb worries, you know? It's like they wear flashy costumes, you know. Oh, fuck. Can you stop saying, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good looking, bio stubborn elites, elitists who don't have many Emergency! friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? I mean, you can't say he's wrong. Ding dong, ming bong! Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! When's the next then, murder gonna happen? Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! I'm just waiting for this next motif. Phew. It's been a while since I've slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. Alright, I should head over to the restaurant. Okie dokie, I'm so sus that there is no like new motive yet. <clears throat> like normally I would talk to these people, but I just want to know what's going on now.
<clears throat> the faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat light-hearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyu Hiko is safe. Then, um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let's just try to put together our information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! There's a music venue. I see. I got that, but what about the clues that we actually need? Clues like information about this island or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. <laughs> In the town with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um, I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. This too I must saw be it. the will of causality. <laughs> I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. Huh? Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed? Wow. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. But even if it is a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. Damn it. Symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. <laughs> uh, if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How pitiful. So basically, on that island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> but you, you don't have to correct us each time. <laughs> However, it is not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy cheeses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think that he's going to come back to us. <laughs> He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in a week. However, <laughs> he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today too. Yeesh. You sure only eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. Um. Okay then, since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. <laughs> Train, you say? You hate training. How rare for you. Yeah. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my my! She's like really pumped up. Huh? <laughs> I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. She's thinking about doing something bad. With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. Now then, what should I do? Free time! We're gonna leave here. Right, let's see. I cannot remember who we got good. Right, present report card, here we go. Right, okay, as you can see, Chiaki is nearly done on this run, apparently. I think what happened is I was like literally just spending free time with anybody, so I think we'll finish that off with Chiaki first. And I think Nagito is gonna be our second choice, because I would do Gundam. But as I don't know, I just I'm leaning more towards Naito. He's more he's more mysterious. And I knew Chiaki was gonna be in here because she's a gamer. <sighs> there were a bunch of laptops at the street store, but none of them had any games installed. Mm. But I should probably check one more time. I might have overlooked one. Yeah, that's us. Hang yep. on, Chiaki. You wanna join me? Yeah, that's fine. I spent time today fishing through laptops with Chiaki. Looks like we drew a little closer. Present. Okay, let's see what we've got. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's a gamer, so... Do we have any games? I don't think we do. Tissue... A manga about a boy named Taru who fights using RC cars. Children across the, across the pen, Japan. I should give you that. Oh, sorry, but we can't let you give her that. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just give her some blue RAM. Mm. Present from Hajime. Ah, yep. uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy. Thanks. Um. Um, there's somewhere I want to go with you today. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Anywhere is fine. It's the first time Chiaki has picked a place for herself. My heart is beginning to race. Chiaki took me to the beach. She's look, she's looking around for some reason. 
Hey, where'd you pick the beach after all this time? Did you want to swim or something? Mm. Uh, no sense of games usually. <laughs> you'd put lotion on my back, right? And then you'd touch me in a weird place and I'd, talk, and I'd yell at you. It's a standard tactic. Huh? Huh? Which reminds me. Where do you think the legendary tree is growing? What kind of game are you talking about now? No. I shall give you three choices for what we're going to do from now on. Please select from the following three. Is this a new game of hers or something? Open the piece of paper Chiaki gave me. Do I really have to choose one of these? Hug Chiaki, celebrating the ocean or happy, happy joy joy. A hugger. And then I hug Chiaki. Just kidding. Mm. Oh, you were? I'm glad you were just kidding. If you did something that violent so suddenly, it would have been very bad. All the flags in the story would have been lowered and the affection meter would be drastically decreased. This is pretty difficult. Okay. Happy, happy, joy, joy? What does this even mean? Mm, I don't really know either, but it's probably something like this. Jackie suddenly started running. Um, catch me if you can. She continues running across the beach. I had no choice, so I chased after her. Aww. After chasing her around for a bit, we felt really tired and sat down on the beach. Jackie, what in the world are we doing? <sighs> uh, I was thinking about overcoming that genre I'm bad at. Bad at? Oh, well, oh, I remember. Now I remember. The other day you mentioned there are games you're not good at. Apparently my father also wasn't good at things like this. Well, this is the most difficult after all. Mm. But, mm, I see. So this is what it feels like. Why do you feel convinced by yourself? Hey, hey. Just now. That was a date, right? I think usually those are a little bit different. But I sort of understand what Chiaki meant when she said she's not good at this game. She probably means dating sims. After spending time with you, I realised something for the first time. There are a lot of things I still don't understand. For example, I know how babies are made, but I don't know how to fall in love with someone. That sort of thing. Why would you use that as an example? What happened? Oh, what happened? Your face is red, Hajime. N nothing happened. Yep. Just as I thought, there's still a bunch of stuff I don't know anything about. I want to know more about lots of things. Because if I do, I'll be able to understand much more, I think. Well? So can you keep teaching me, Hajime? Yeah, of course. But in order to do that, we need to hurry up and get off this island. Don't ever forget about me. Even after you get out of here. Aww. Huh? I don't know why Chiaki would say something like that. But there's no denying the strong bond I feel between Chiaki and myself. I'll definitely get out of here and take Chiaki to a lot of different places. Yay! Chiaki's report card has been updated based on your experience. You've just unlocked the, the skill cheat code. Uh. Oh, why have we got Chiaki in undergarments? After discuss, discussing different ideas about where we should go, I return to my room. Why do we have Chiaki pants? Right. Okay, right, so we've completed Chiaki off now. Uh, so now we're gonna go and... Where's Nagito? <laughs> I'm still confused. Right, uh, Chiaki, Akane. Uh, Mikan, Hiyoko. I can't remember the controls. Gundam's there. No one's there. There he is. There's Nagito. Nagito! Sorry, I'm being a bit more quiet because my parents are now home so I can't go absolutely um, bonkers like I normally do. Where is Nagito? Nagito! Okay, well there's Nakamura. There he is! Hello, Nagito! <laughs> You must be really bored to talk to a person like me. Yes, actually, I'm very bored. That's yep. It's okay. Let's just walk around the island together like before. I see. I'd love to do that. I spent time in Nagato today exploring the island. I uh, guess we grew a little closer. Would you like to give him a gift? Oh, uh, we'll just give him. Um, uh, <laughs> we don't have anything. Tell you what, let's just, let's, let's just give him some, uh, let's give him some, uh, chocolate chip jerky. Take my chocolate chip jerky, Hope. Thanks. 
I'm grateful to receive anything you give me. I don't know if it's bad luck or good luck to receive this. Hmm. I'm looking forward to finding out. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, is it bedtime? Ahem! Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Shh. Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. As such as this is officially nighttime. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night. It's not like I have anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. Famous last words. Oh, another monarch in the future. Okay, okay. You guys! It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing me meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget, they all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? <laughs> Do you best at worrying about things and killing time? Okay, but... I need to stop paying attention to these monochrome fear shows. They're making my head hurt. Ding dong, bing bong, it's morning. Ahem. Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 7 a.m. Oh my god. Morning. Good morning. Looks like today's going to be another perfect tropical day. What the? <laughs> what a huge success. I received such a nice reaction. Ibuki, how did you get in here? Jeez, Hajime is so careless. Careless, I made sure I locked the door. And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why'd you destroy it? Hey, hey! Meh, who cares? More importantly, there's something there's something important I need to tell you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Poor things. No, that was just free. Uh, you've got time to nitpick others and hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. I'll explain the details there. So I'm counting on ya. It's like a hurricane. Did she really take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me? Does something bad happen again? I'm feeling a little depressed now. She probably wants to do something with the music venue, right? Because, I mean, she is the ultimate musician. But she's, bur she's busted my lock. Now, uh, can you imagine, like, if the main character gets killed and then you, like, move to another character? Or, like, or, like your character commits a murder? and you kind of basically have to discover yourself during the class trial, that'd be so cool. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's backs as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I want to say. What are you doing now? Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Yeah, good question. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the control button. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. Yeah. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. Okay, Fee Hiko, what, what, how badly did you hit your head, buddy? Fiend. Just what in the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really, just greeting. There's no way that would just a greeting, and yet I feel like that was the first time Fee Eco ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours. Nothing. Ah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way there's nothing since her eye is no longer. Mm. So you can't see out of it, huh? Huh. Eh, it's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some pristine or something? However, Fee Eco. <laughs> Why are you acting so all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Hiyoko! Yeah. Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault my hero is dead. No, not just my hero. Pekko died because of you as well. Hey. It's all your fault. Oh. Uh, um, Hiyoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? 
Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead. You. Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, Fihiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me! Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just dropped your knees and cry? Oh my god, Hiyoko, shut the Do heck up! Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. Huh? This is... No! Oh! It's blood! It's blood! What the heck happened? Ah! Here he comes. This is his own stomach. Oh my god, he's crazy. Huh? Ah! They're saying he cut open his fucking stomach? What the? What? What are you doing? I didn't know. I've been forgiven by such a half-assed apology. Oh my god, see, he could be crazy. If I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. Oh, come on, see, he could, I swear to god, if you die, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna be livid. <laughs> Fool, that doesn't mean you should slice your own stomach. <laughs> oh, you must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. <laughs> You're right. Because you lend me a hand. This is bad. Yes, your face. So stop it. I can walk there myself. Ah! There's no way you can walk. <laughs> Even though I took the time to pet you, I know I need to say your wounds all over again. I feel so ashamed in the, in the end. I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? Let's go. We ever carry for you, he go out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there. Yeah, feel bad. Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Well? Hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um, what would my hero say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <coughs> what would my hero say? What would my hero say? She would tell you to stop being an idiot. She'd probably get mad. Really mad. Yes! And after she got mad... It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had time. We've never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey. Hmm. This is a rare occurrence. If you think about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Ah, now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her to not join us for breakfast. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Mm. True. Mm, but I'm a little worried, though. She's not the only one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. Akane's gonna die, isn't she? Hold on. Uh, give me a minute. Right. My mum has just sent me a text asking if I can feed the cat. So I will be right back again. Hi guys. I'm back again. Um, so I just had to go feed the cat. I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a use useless day for us anymore. <laughs> Right, let us go and find Nagito. I'm just gonna take my ever headphone off so I can hear if anyone comes in. Okay, oh, he's actually here. Cool. There you are, Nagi. Fuhiko <laughs> so an admirable. Great. Such attitude, such moxie. The title Ultimate Yakuza isn't just for show after all. Yes, we are gonna hang out with him. <laughs> I actually want to beg you to spend time with me. After all, everyone else hates me. I spent time with Nagito today, but I was a little frustrated by all the things he says. 
I guess Nakito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Yes. I keep forgetting to buy gifts. Ah, let's just let's just give me some ram ramen. Eh? Thanks. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me. I don't know if it's bad or good luck to receive this. Hmm, I look forward to finding out. Oh, I need to work out what Nagato likes. It's still bright out, so plenty of time to know where to set. Right, okay. I'm gonna go to the supermarket actually and see if we can find some din dins or something to give Nagato because these drinks are not doing it. I can't remember where the supermarket is. Right, map. Where is the supermarket? Oh, it's on this one. Cool. Oh. Right, okay. So it is on this island. Cool. That's the one thing I will say with this game with all the different islands, it's actually quite difficult to keep up with where everything is. Mm -hmm. Right. Hopefully there's more items. Yes, let's purchase something. Right. Mm. Let's see, I know what the replica sword. Oh, I don't know. It's a key item now. Buying random things, don't ask me. Okay, let's hope that one of the new things we've got will be nice for Nagi. Right, let's go find them. Where is he? Buki's there inside the hospital. There he is, he's in the library. Cool. Right, so we are going to go and see Nagito in the library. I know I say my husband though is Gundam, and he still is, but I kind of want to know more about Nagito because, you know, they say always oh, the ultimate unlucky or the ultimate lucky student, sorry. And I don't know, he's just so mysterious and it feels like he's got a bigger part to play in the game than the game's letting it on. So we'll have a look. I guess it's about time for someone to start yearning for hope. Okay. Right, let's invite him to hang, hey. to hang out. Do you want to go to the library with me? There's a book I wanna there I wanna read. We're in the library. I spent time with Nagisa today reading books together. Uh we grew a little closer. Right, let's see. What are we gonna give him? Uh, we got some chocolate jerky, we've got some potato chips. You are it's dangerously high calorie count. Many men have lost everything after betting they can only eat just one. Some flower seeds. I don't know what to give you. A pendant designed with a coconut tree moth. There's a custom on Jabber Rock Island in which parents give this to their children so they can one day pass it down to their own kids. Uh -huh. There you go, give them that. Huh? I can have this. Thanks. It's really generous of you to give a gift to a piece of trash like me. Ah, oh, I just want to know, Nagito, tell me more about you. It's getting dark outside, it's night time already, huh? I felt fast. Ever since I arrived at Silent, the day passes by abnormally fast. The doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walked towards the door and opened it slowly, weary of might be what the might be nice have met ya. Hi, Ibuki. <laughs> it's, a, it's a past sense of nice to meet you. You know, since we've already exchanged, nice to meet you. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to surprise you for... Allow, allow me to apologise for surprising you and my son with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a lot better than the last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have a goat. So what, so what do you want? Um, Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like everyone... Look, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes. See this thing? Invitation ticket, 9 p.m. at Titty Typhoon, party for Fuhiku Kuzuryu's recovery. That's totally a girl's handwriting. 
let's see. A recovery party for he Fuyuhiko at Titi Typhoon at 9pm. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? <laughs> How rude. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just full, just, just full brought the invitation. It's definitely her. But then Ibuki has some preparation, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Um, Titi Typhoon is at a music venue on the third island, right? Huh. 9pm. Less than 30 minutes. But even though it's a party for free, he goes recovery. Is he even going to be able to come? After all, he did just slit his own stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to a music venue. Okay. We're gonna have a party. Oh, it's not letting us fast travel. Son of a... Right, so then we've got to go to the central island. Okay. <laughs> because I always forget how to get to certain areas on this game. I got a, I got a really bad pain on like on the top, uh, like the very top bit of my leg today. So if you see me like rubbing my leg a lot, I'm sorry. I'm not being inappropriate. I'm literally just in a lot of pain today in my, with my leg. I think I banged it earlier against something. Don't ask me. I don't know how I do it. Right, third island, third island, third island. Right. Right, actually, I think I'm going to leave this episode here because I have been interrupted quite a couple of times and I don't want to put any more cuts there. So I'm just going to wait outside of Titi Typhoon ready for next episode. Um, but, as I promised earlier this episode, I am going to go over what I personally think of the characters and who I think is going to survive and who is going to die. Right. So, number one, Hajime. I think he's okay. He's not the best, like, he's not the best character. But um, I do, f I do feel like he is going to survive. Like even, even I do wish no Donald Trump would kind of put in this twist. That, like the main character would either become blackened or um, they got killed, maybe, and then we ended up going to the point of view of another character. Or it went to third person tense. That'd be really cool. Hajime is a character. He's not the best, but you know, Nagato definitely one of my favorite characters by far um you know he's very mysterious he's got like this weird aura about him i think and i think another thing as well is he's he kind of seems to be out like this big character but he's not actually done a lot on the plot as of yet in my opinion so i do feel like he is going to be the type to survive and um I really like him as a character, and it's, I think the voice actor is the same one who voice acted uh, uh, Makoto from Danganronpa 1, Trigger Happy Havoc, so that's my verdict on Naito. Obviously, Byakuya is... Rest in peace. Gundam, Husbando. Really interesting character. I like that he's the ultimate breed breeder, and he's got this he's got very um interesting voice lines i i don't want to jinx myself but i don't feel like he's gonna survive because it kind he kind of comes across as a character he's not really done much for the plot so i feel like um he could get killed off quite easily um but we are getting to the point now we're coming up to the third class trial and he's not dead yet so my fingers are crossed kazuichi Probably my most hated character in this game. He's annoying, he's a simp for Sonya, he's, you know, he's a mechanic, so he's not particularly amazing. Like, no offence to the voice actor who plays Kazuichi if you are watching this. But I don't, I don't know, it's just... He just annoys me, you know what I mean? Uh, Teru Teru, obviously, he killed... He killed Beth, he killed our Fikikuya, or Plump Biakria, as I called him. But, again, he kind of died too quick for me to have a proper verdict on him. He was a bit of a pervert. He had some funny moments in the game. And, you know, his reason for killing in the end it was basically he was tricked by Nagato. And I'm kind of upset that he's gone, but I don't miss him too much. Uh, Nekomaru. He's very... I think he'd be definitely one of those people I'd have a better verdict on if I knew him in person. 
Um, I like how much he kind of cares about Akane, even though he tries to come across that he doesn't. I personally don't think he's going to survive. Again, even though he's a really physically strong character, I just, I don't know, I've got this gut feeling that he's just going to get killed off. Uh, Fuhiko. Right, I wasn't keen on him at first, but now I'm, now he's grown on me. Uh, so, obviously now he's got his eye patch. Um, for me, I really liked the bond he had with Paco. He's definitely got a lot of character progression, so I do feel like, again, he's probably going to be a survivor. And, I don't know, he's growing on me. Even though it's taken a while. He's shorter than me. Which is nice. But, I don't know, you see. He's an interesting character. I do want to, like, get to, get to know Fuhiko a bit better. And hopefully he doesn't get killed off. Akane. Again. Um, a bit, there's been quite a bit of character progression with her. I don't feel like she is going to be, like, um, a survivor at the end of the game, though. She just feels like way too gullible, personally. Like, you know, I feel like she could probably self-defend herself in a fight. But if, let's say, for example, Nekomaru wanted to kill, wanted to kill her, she's she's screwed. Chiaki, um, secondary waifu. Very nice. Oh, whoopsie. Very nice character. She's got really easy to voice act for me as well on my voice, which is another reason why I really like her. She obviously she's a gamer. We all love gamers. And sadly, I'm gonna jinx myself again. I don't feel like she is going to survive. She seems very weak in self defense. But I really like her as a character, and like, like this, like she gave me this skill. The time limit doesn't decrease even if you, even if you shoot um, a statement with the silencer. So yeah, it's like she's just adorable. She's got really nice like backstory, and it's just like yeah, I just I just really really like her. I like her voice. I, I like her voice. I like her design. And she's I don't know. Even though I feel like she's not going to survive, I really am going to be sad if she becomes black and or if she gets killed off. So yeah. Um, I feel bad for her, simply because she gets simped on by Kazuichi the entire game. Um, again, similar to Chiaki, I don't think she's going to survive because she's got very low self-defense. She seems very gullible, like, because obviously she's a princess and she's been, like, kind of sheltered off her entire life. The fact that she is an ultimate princess, though, you can kind of tell with the way she talks. Like, she's way out of Kazuichi's league. But again, I don't want to keep jinxing myself, but I really do not feel like she's going to survive. Kyoko, one of the most annoying characters in this entire game. Like She's the ultimate traditional dancer. We've not seen a single bit of dancing yet. She's very rude. And I don't know. She's just. I actually hope she gets killed off, to be honest, because she's annoying. My hero. I'm sad that she passed away. She was my fellow redhead. Um, obviously she got killed off by Paco, which was technically on behalf of Fihiko. Um, I really liked that she was an ultimate photographer. I feel like they could have done a lot more with her character progression there. Like, maybe she maybe she found some, like, photos in her room of, like, when they were at Hope Speak Academy or something. Um, obviously I'm really sad that she passed away, but I kind of expected it. I just didn't expect it as quickly as it happened. Mikan. First waifu. So, Mikan is, again, seems very, she doesn't seem as gullible, she seems more secluded, she may, might come across as an easy target, um, but she has, she is the ultimate nurse, so she does have knowledge, she's very handy to have around, especially with, with Fuhiko at the moment being all injured because he decided to slit his throat, etc. But she's a really nice, I really enjoy her character, again, nice easy voice act, voice act actor for me to or a nice character for me to voice absolutely adorable and i think i think i've seen some cosplays of her online as well and just like normal everyday cosplays and they all look really really good so she's definitely i think a danganronpa 2 favorite but yeah she's just adorable and i love her to pieces ibuki absolute nutcase but again a very lovable character i still i think she is like another one of the like contending waifus Personally, she's not for me, but I do like 
her ultimate musician and the fact that she's gone and made a party up for Fee Higo is really really nice as well and oh, last but not least Paco obviously she has unfortunately passed away um, she was the ultimate swordswoman her execution definitely hit differently especially because of the dialogue between her and Fee Higo before her execution began and I think Fuhiko, in a way, always has a way to rem remember Paco now because she did kind of take out his um, his eye. But her design was really good. You know, she seemed very confident, and she wasn't like a girly girly girl. She was more of a like strong, independent woman who need no man. So I'm kind of sad that she's died as well because I did feel like she would have been one of the ones who survived because of her abilities. But yeah, my verdict on everybody is I think the people who are going to survive to the end, let's just, let's just go under the number of six. So I think Hajime, Nagito, um, hold on, who did I say? Uh, Nekamaru, uh, well, actually going under three. At the moment, the ones that I'm pretty 100% sure are going to survive is Hajime, Nagito, Nekamaru and Fuyuhiko mostly because of the character focus towards them. Again, I could be completely wrong, but we will see what happens in the upcoming episodes. So thank you guys for watching. I'll try to get the next episode out as quickly as I can, but I can't make any promises just because of the situation with work. Um, once I know what I'm actually doing for my job because I'm kind of being like decided where being knowing where I'm gonna go yet. Once I know, I'll work around I'll work out a schedule to record and go from there. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again soon.